Modern cities churn out a lot of sewage, and Rome has been doing it longer than most. And as unpleasant as this murky sludge may seem, there is much more to it than meets the nose. This is the exit of the Cloaca Maxima, ancient Rome's massive sewer. Archaeologists have been able to learn a lot about the diet of ancient Romans by studying residue of sewage from back then. Modern scientists are now studying sewage to get an early warning of diseases like COVID-19. Standard data about the spread of COVID-19 is based on the results of clinical tests. But wastewater provides a much clearer picture of just how widespread the disease actually is. Not everyone is tested. Not everyone has symptoms. Everyone, or almost everyone, however, goes to the toilet. In the bowels, or rather the basement, of Italy's National Institute of Health, researchers spend their days analyzing fresh sewage from around the country. Such research has revealed that COVID-19 was already circulating here in November 2019, months before the first cases were reported. The field of wastewater epidemiology, the monitoring of sewage for traces of disease, is emerging as a critical tool for public health. It allows us to say in advance that the virus is present, in this case specifically, Omicron, says researcher Elisabetta Suffredini. And in addition to an early warning, it allows us to understand how the virus is distributed and how it's spreading. That early warning is hidden in human feces, which carry genetic traces of COVID-19 days before they can appear in clinical tests. The Institute's Dr. Giuseppina Lorosa is spearheading a soon-to-be-launched nationwide wastewater monitoring system. We can consider sewage treatment plants like eyes across the whole territory, she says, telling us what is really circulating in the population. It might not be pretty, but for researchers in this pandemic, this is gold. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Rome.